In this video, you're going to learn how to quickly and easily create online courses to sell online using the power of AI. So whether you're a coach, entrepreneur, or a marketer looking to start selling online courses, this video is for you. Let's get started with the first online course creator. Okay, first up, we've got a tool called Corso. This one's great, especially if you've got existing content that you like to repurpose into an online course. Things such as YouTube videos or podcasts too. You can start creating your course right away by clicking on start for free. Go to register. Once you've signed up, you can start creating your course by looking under library, click on create. There are a number of options here, some of them coming soon, but the one you want to look at is the online course tool. So we'll click that. Because we are on a free account, we can only use Mini, which is GBT 3.5 model that it uses, as well as the course length. So we can only choose a short length online course between six to eight lessons. Scrolling down, we've got upload your own content. So simply paste in the source links or you can upload your own PDF. So YouTube links, audio files, most web pages, we've got PDFs, Word documents, up to 30 pages or two hours of talk time. Otherwise you can always upgrade to Pro, which I'll talk about later on for multiple longer inputs. So at this point, what you're going to want to do is simply paste in the source URL or upload the file. I've just pasted in a YouTube video of mine talking about how to design a YouTube thumbnail. In the learning outcome, you can fill the next one, which is the learning outcome. This will help the AI give you a better result. This feature isn't available on the free plan. And then you can customize the branding such as the accent color and background color. So let's go and select something like purple, the accent color leaving as is and click on generate course. Okay, now the course is being generated. At this point, if it does take a while, you can actually exit and then they'll email you when the course is ready. Okay, so the course has generated. That took about two to three minutes, I'd say. And right off the bat, this is what the result uh, is. So we've got how to create effective YouTube thumbnails. That's what it picked up uh, based on my video that I uploaded. And this course will teach you how to create effective YouTube thumbnails that attract viewers. So a little summary of what uh, the course will entail. So the, the student can click on begin course. They'll see this kind of course curriculum format and layout where they go through the lessons and the modules, including key takeaways. And we've got actionable uh, step that they can take away and a quiz. So what is the purpose of thumbnails on YouTube? So pretty cool. It does that all for you without you having to look for an online course platform. So if that's for you, this is a great option. So let's take a look at another module. We've got designing thumbnails with Canva. So it's pretty accurate. I did experiment this uh, myself uh, because I know the content that I created just to see what it had produced and it's pretty specific. It's like while the recommended dimensions are 1280 pixels by 720 pixels, you can't upsize it to this you know, these dimensions. So it's quite specific and it did pick up on some of the things. Some things are not as accurate, but for the most part, it did do a pretty good job and it even listed some of these things, making it more digestible and readable. Uh, going down to conclusion and next steps. So you can see a recap. You've got encouragement to apply the learned uh, techniques. So really good for e-learning. And if you are looking to create those types of e-learning online course products, great and perfect for your students. Uh, if you're happy with what you uh, are seeing, you can go and click on publish. Otherwise, click on edit. That'll take you to the editing mode where you can start editing some of the content. As you can see, we've got the cover image as well. Going into a module, you can take a look right here with the quiz as well. So everything can be added to that one page. You can also rearrange different modules and whether to make it viewable or not, or private. You can add a question too, if you aren't happy with the auto-generated questions and quiz that it generated. But let's go ahead and click on save and preview. Although Corso does create and help you generate an online course, if you do want to publish it and obviously make it public, then you are going to have to upgrade. So to make the course public, embed or share, please upgrade your account. So speaking of plans and pricing, let's head there. And this is what it starts at 
uh, based on a mini plus plan. We've got $39 per month. You can create uh, 10 mini courses per month and some of these other benefits. But that's Corsair. If you do like the functionality and what it produces, then feel free to use Corsair. If that means for you to get your course out there and start selling it, why not? And once you do have that link to share your online course, you can simply plug that into your online selling platform, such as Gumroad, Payhip, or if you want some alternates, feel free to look in the description box below where I've got a list of or a set of videos where I share some platforms where you can sell your digital products and in this case, online courses. Okay, the next way to generate an online course is one that's relatively new. This one's called Learning Studio AI. And with this right off the bat, you can enter a subject and I did sign up already. So it will actually create it and put it into my online course library. But to give you an example of what it can produce after entering a subject, take a look at this. This one, I simply, prompted it to create an online course based on artificial intelligence. It's created the topic and a subheading here, master the principles and applications of AI. It's got an overview. It's laid it out in this kind of blog article format, as you can see. So it goes on pretty in depth and even goes down to a quiz. So it's not so much this online course curriculum format that you saw like in Corso, it's rather this kind of logical uh, step sequence, right? They, one goes through and reads through. Uh, they can preview it without the editing mode, uh, but if you do want to share it, you can simply copy the link. At the moment, uh, you know, when you sign up, you do get a seven day trial. Uh, if you like, of course, what you see, how it works, how it functions, and yeah, use Learning Studio. But let's go ahead, I'm gonna share, and you can see, copy the link. You can, there are other ways, of course, to share. But this is what a student sees. They see the course, they can sign up, create their own online course, they can share and download. Apart from sharing, they can download the PDF version. So you can see right here. In your account, these are where your online courses sit. So you can take a look at another example that I created, Calisthenics Mastery going there. You can take a look at some of the examples here. So this one's more related to training and of course, uh, exercise. Let's go ahead and experiment with a, another course topic. This time I'm going to put in leadership skills for entrepreneurs and click on create course. Okay, the course has generated. It took about two minutes in this case. We've got leadership skills for entrepreneurs, a stock image, I presume, and a subheading as well as an overview and some of the modules. And this bar does appear at the top that it's made up. You will be in the editing mode. so. This means that you can edit anything you want. And if you don't want to put entrepreneurs, it can be you know for small business owners or whatnot, you can type away, edit away. The image, you can edit right here. There is a setting at the top where you can change the theme color as well to one of these other ones. Let's choose blue. And do I wanna show the Learning Studio AI logo? Uh, of course, this is a paid tool, so uh, you can, Take it away if you do not want it. It's usually down the bottom anyway, but just going through some of the content right here, you can see some of the other things you can edit. What's also interesting is that it's put together this practical exercise that one or your student can take. Taking a look at some of the exercises include self-assessment, complete a self-assessment questionnaire, uh, analyze real world case studies. So some action steps, I guess. A couple of other notable features in the editing mode include being able to insert an image or a video in between a lesson or some text. So I've got paste in a video where you can upload your own or an image right here. Let's say you do want to add an image. You can click on the image icon and search for a royalty free image. So something like technology, which I've already searched for, will bring up these results. And if I click on this one right here, it's uploading now. And there we go, we've got the image and then the text continues. As I mentioned, you can share the course right away by clicking on copy link and people will see a version that's obviously non-editable. Otherwise you can download it and that'll generate a PDF version. And here's the PDF version of the online course I generated. So it looks pretty consistent with the one generated by Learning Studio AI. 
And finally, the next tool that you can use to generate an online course is from Mini Course. This one's quite established. I've seen them around, I've seen some of the ads, and here's how it works. All right, so you can get started. The pricing involves zero dollars. That's for the basic plan, and you can create up to three mini courses. As with all software and tools on its free plan, usually there are limitations and you can compare the difference with the basic premium and premium plus right here. But let me show you how it works. I did generate one called uh, maximizing your reach and it's probably best to show you what it looks like and what it generated. They call these things cards. So each card does have a topic and things such as an introduction. We've got uh, definition of social media benefits. It goes on and you can edit each individual one, adding an image or a video to each. You can add lessons in between by clicking on the plus and then you can choose from one of the options, things such as information or you can let AI assist you. There are multiple choice options as well, as well as feedback. So it's quite advanced, quite flexible if you're looking for a tool that can add these kinds of elements. But before we do all of that, let's go and create a mini course so I can show you the process. On this page, you will be given a number of options to create your mini course. The first being a use AI assistant. Now, if you are on a free plan, you can't so much use this. You can try it out the first time with your first course, but that's what I did at least with the first course. Otherwise, you can start from scratch and add your content to the cards or you can use uh, case use case ideas. Let's say you do want to create from scratch, you can click that and then enter the name of your course. Let's just name it Basics of Instagram. And then you begin adding your content, your image, the actual content. And then once you've added all the cards, all the lessons for your mini course, it will look obviously not like this, but this were, this one was auto-generated using AI. There are a few other options here, like this AI assistant. We've got complete the rest, correct the grammar. You can summarize, so it's built in. It's got this built-in AI assistant to assist you with your online course creation. You can change a theme by going to theme and then choosing from one of the themes that they have right here. This isn't what students will see, obviously. If you click on view, that will take you to a preview of what your course looks like. This is the start of it, so maximizing your reach and we can see what it is. And clicking on the next button, we'll see the first module, the first lesson here and clicking on next. So it kind of works like a presentation slide. And those are three tools that you can use to quickly and easily create your online course. Each of the tools have its pros and cons, its perks and some disadvantages too, as you saw in this video. So feel free to pick and choose which one is best suited for you and your goals. But hopefully this video was helpful in your online course creation. If you do want to learn which platforms to use to start selling your online course, I do have several videos. So the ones I recommend is right here and here. So I'll see you in those videos.